And this time around, very interesting conversation we're going to have, especially because as men age, and naturally as humans age, um, you know, their health decreases to some extent based on the lifestyle that they live but also because of biology, basically. And so we want to find out, for a lot of the men who are watching us, what can you do to better take care of yourself as you're moving along, and also to inform you of what could happen so you can take care of yourself. And joining us this morning in the studio is Tyrone Jama. He's the CEO of American Rejuvenation Health Center. Good morning, and thank Good you morning. for joining us. Thank Tell you. us a bit more about what men should be concerned about. I mean, as you're growing, what are some of the things that change in your body as a man? Um, usually at the age of 40 years old is when we start to see a significant decline in our health care. Okay. So uh, some of the things that we want to make sure that we uh, are aware of, I think most men now in Ghana are aware to check your prostate health yeah. after age yeah. of 40. So that's once annually. Mm. Um, and then Should something, you wait necessarily till 40? You don't have to wait till 40, but at 40 is where you should really be concerned, concerned. To, to make sure that you get in there every year okay. to check because prostate cancer can be very treatable if you catch it early, mm -hmm. but it also can spread fast, fast. if it's not caught. Okay. Um, another issue is, uh, which is new, which is what our clinic also is one of our specialties is hormonal replacement therapy. So in men, mm -hmm. in the same way women, they go through uh, menopause, menopause yeah. men go through andropause, mm -hmm. which is a decline in the hormones or imbalance in hormones. So um, that's something that should also be checked. What does that lead to? Um, well, it's considered low testosterone. So if you have low testosterone, it can lead to erectile dysfunction. It could oh. also lead to decrease in metabolism, uh, increase in estrogen levels, um, decrease in energy, mm -hmm. sex drive, um, even uh, sleep disturbances, a lot of different issues. And all these things, is it really about the lifestyle that you have as a younger person? Because, I mean, even for women, sometimes menopause comes, whether or not you even exercise or eat yeah. right, it comes quite early for women. Is it the same as men? Actually, it's a little different with men. Okay. Uh, with men, uh, sometimes it tends to be environmental and also lifestyle uh, okay. that causes that decline in, um, in hormones. So um, s things as simple as getting your sleep, your rest, that has a, plays a, a huge role in your hormone production. Okay. What you've eaten over time period, uh, yeah. the chemicals that we consume and, you know, plastics and mm -hmm. uh, environmental pollution. Um, those things uh, contribute a lot to hormonal imbalances. And that leads to what, a decrease in your sex drive? Yeah, that decrease in sex drive, uh, even muscle, you start to see muscle mass decrease and increase body fat, breast tissue. You see what we call man boobs. Oh, so <laughs> you see that's the men that have those and uh, also uh, around the hips you start to see them gain weight. Yeah. Sometimes that can be a, a, a signify that there's increase in estrogen. Uh, mm -hmm. And that usually typically happens with a man when his testosterone level decreases. Some, some women will be happy when this happens to their husband because then the other women find them less attractive, right? <laughs> so they can stay faithful to them, especially if your sex drive has reduced. But what are the other symptoms as well? Let's probably cover that because I'm seeing a couple of them here. What? Irritability, problems concentrating. So it's not just about the body, but your mind as well? Yeah, actually, it plays a huge uh, role in mental health as well. Okay. Um, we have also what's known as stress hormones. Uh, so uh, testosterone, when those levels are imbalanced, it affects your stress hormones. Mm. So uh, sometimes depression, irritability, those things come on um, as a result to low testosterone levels. Okay. And, and how do you deal with all of this when you're growing? Well, um, it's an individual case, so um, the first thing we would like to do mm -hmm. is, you know, you come in and we check your levels to see where your levels are. Everybody's a little bit different, so okay. we want to make an individual plan. It's not a cookie-cutter plan for everybody. Okay. So uh, we want to make sure that we have an individual plan for that person. So some people, they need hormonal replacement therapy, which mm -hmm. is an injection uh, that's given about... Uh, once every two weeks. Okay. Sometimes it can just be some medications that need to be switched around mm. um, or lifestyle, um, exercising, you know, eating healthy can be okay. recommendations. 
Uh, so it's just individual to that person. So you're telling me that all this cannot be resolved in the gym? Because the men spend hours in the gym because they feel like that's what will make me less stressed. Mm -hmm. I have the abs, I have the muscles, and I look fine. And so that should be enough. I don't need to go get any injections to you know, either increase or decrease my hormones or replace it mm -hmm. or any of that. It, the gym and exercise, is, it plays a vital role in your production, but it's not, the, it's not close to the only factor of your hormone levels. Mm. Uh, sleep actually plays a, a larger role than exercise, but exercise and um, an active lifestyle also plays a big role. Okay. Diet That's, as well. How many hours of sleep? Is it the regular eight They hours? recommend uh, six hours, anywhere from six hours and above. Okay. It's considered optimal sleep. A lot of men don't sleep you know, that long. Even, even I'm, I'm guilty of not sleeping. How many hours are you able to sleep a day? <laughs> uh, I usually get around five to six, but sometimes trying, if I'm yeah. busy, you know. I so can. for you personally, what's your routine? Because outwardly, you look very healthy. But of course, we all won't know what's going on inside and what medications you might have to be in and all that. But how do you take care of yourself so that if someone is watching, he knows that at least these are the basic things I should do as a man just to maintain my health and maintain, you know, mental focus and, mm -hmm. and all of that? Um, first of all, organization is very important because you have to set your day up, you know, according to, uh, to be active health, uh, healthily. Okay. So, like, you need to have a schedule, um, sleeping schedule to make sure that you get to bed on time. Mm. and get up, you know, early enough to get things done, to go to the gym. On time is what? Um, I mean, that just depends on how early you start your day. Okay. Some people are early risers, 5 a.m. Mm. If you're waking up at 5 a.m., it means that you need to sleep uh, yeah, you know, yeah. earlier. So at least or, make sure you get that later. five to six hours yeah. of sleep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what else? So um, for me, first thing I do when I wake up, um, I make sure I, because water is, actually plays a huge role as mm. well your water intake. So first thing I do when I get up, I, I you know, drink a few cups of water and then I do my cardio activity. Okay. Um, when I'm doing cardio, I tend to go through my emails and messages. And Why then I- doing that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I see, interesting. Yeah. But then as much as possible, they should come in there and have their system checked so that whatever the problem is, you can resolve it ahead of time, mm -hmm. especially prostate cancer. Yes, prostate cancer is, PSA is this very important. PSA is your actual, your, the lab that, you know, senses if something's wrong with the prostate. So oh. it's just a blood sample. Some people are scared to check their prostate because they think, you know, the old school way, you always have to stick the finger yeah, up that's and rectum. What I and, but, and squeeze. No, yeah, no, that's, no, my mind's going too far. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early for that, right? <laughs> okay. But anyway, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning as we talked about men's health you need to check your health don't just leave it for the women and assume that you're a man and so naturally you should be fine as you're hearing there's so many issues that can uh, develop from you just aging as a man and you need to take care of yourself and so do visit american rejuvenation health center uh, i've been speaking to tyron jama who is the ceo and uh well yeah we talked about men's health after 40. thank you so much for Thank your time